Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 2015. This is another basics on silage, basically. Chaffing and all that other good stuff with, uh, with corn. Now this is a post commentary. It's been edited in because we had an issue with the audio. So I'm sorry if it sounds a little different. <clears throat> all right, so first thing first, the vehicles that we're gonna need, uh, as I'm having difficulty finding them apparently, but it's in the harvesters. There we go. Now we're gonna use the crone through this as I get to it here. The uh, the big X1100 is your multi-purpose all round chafe cutting implement. You can use the pottinger early on, but you gotta drag it with a tractor. You put it on the front, put a trailer on the back, and then you can push it and cut this corn and stuff into chaff. And uh, it'll come up through the pipe and shoot it into the back of your trailer. But we're not going to show that because that's anybody can do. Uh, we're going to show the crone. The, the, by the time you get doing this, you should have enough money to buy this if you're making chaff, trying to make silage. So you, I don't see any reason to ever do with the other. Now these three heads, the Easy Flow 300 and the, and the X-Disc 6200 are the exact same head. They both do the same thing, except the X-Disc 6200 also cuts wheat and barley. Um, the Easy Flow 300 only cuts grass. The Easy Collect 1053, the very first one that we're on now, cuts corn. Um, this one cuts grass, and as you can see, that one cuts grass, barley, wheat, and canola. Uh, it, to cut canola is just ridiculous with that head because it's a waste of money. Here we're going to cut some wheat, and uh, yeah, basically we just get to driving. As you can see, I've got one trailer put on the back of the, uh, the crone. We're going to pull that trailer and we're going to cut at the same time. Some people say do this, some people say don't. If you're doing it by yourself, you can pull up two or three trailers as long as the terrain's flat enough, as we'll see. All right, and here we go. We're pulling uh, two trailers behind it just to show that you know it can easily be done. I am on, <clears throat> I believe this was field 13, which is, uh, no, it's 23, which is a really flat and level field. On this actual field, you can pull as many as three trailers, although I don't suggest doing so because it has the, the there's a possibility that the fill up mechanism in the game will glitch up, uh, meaning that basically once you fill two trailers, it'll just stop. Now, the contents of the trailers total together down in the bottom right-hand corner, if you look, uh, I can actually take that number all the way up to 64,000 because these trailers carry 32,000 each. So as you'll see, I'm at you know seven, eight thousand, and I'm only like twelve percent done. Um, that's because it'll carry sixty-four thousand, you know, basically sixty-four tons of corn or chaff. And here we go, you know, further showing how it's not too difficult to pull three trailers. Now there is a slippage mechanic in this game, and in this game, basically, it's its way of compensating, trying to make it a little bit more realistic. And if you're trying to pull two or three of these trailers full or even sometimes empty up a hill, it will be quite difficult. You can successfully pull two of them on the roads just about anywhere. Um, I've only found one place you can't, and that's over by the logging industry. All right, and this is the location of the biogas plant. We're down to the south part of the map. Here you can see I've got six trailers. Just a little bit more to show what this vehicle can actually do. Now I only pulled these three at a time down here and then I connected the three to the other three and now I'm pulling them through. Um, this is without a doubt the best way that I've found to do this. Anybody, you can do it, everybody's got their own method. But basically what I like to do is I will hook up all six trailers and six is about the max you can do. You might could do seven, but I've never tried. One, two, three, four, five, six. Actually I've got seven trailers, I'm sorry, my correction. Um, seven trailers and uh, you could that's about the max you can do and basically what we're going to end up doing here is pulling all seven of these trailers down one of these silo paths these uh, these little in between the you know you know what I'm talking about we're gonna pull all seven of them down in there and then what we'll start doing is that we'll start yeah I saved it just in case anything happened um, but we'll start selecting we'll go to the, the back trailer and we'll dump it first, then we'll move forward, and then it'll automatically advance forward to the next trailer in the line that can dump. You can't see it down on the implement selection tool, but if you hit the, the change implement button, one, two, three, four, when you get to the fourth one, 
um, when you hit it again, it'll disappear. That's really actually you're on the fifth trailer. Then hit it again, you'll be on the sixth. Hit it again, you'll be on the seventh. Then if you hit it again, it'll be on the, the tractor and then the front, you know, whatever. So you just get it to where you're on the fourth one, then like however many trailers, if you got three trailers more, then you'll hit it three more times, it'll be on that last trailer. And uh, we're going to unload off of that last trailer uh, here shortly. And then at that point, yeah, I'll just hit A to unload on that trailer. And as you can see, it'll do that. And you really don't have to do a whole lot. You just wait and watch it, let it, let it empty out. When it stops and the trailer starts to come back down, then you can just hit the A button again. There it goes. Now I can hit the A button again. It'll start unloading the next trailer. Right about, well, sooner or later. That's why I hate post commentary. <laughs> But there it goes. Now you can see the next one's just unloading, and they're going to unload into these little mounds. And we're going to do that all the way up to the front. Okay, and now we're going to pull them all out of it. And as you notice, I can even pull all seven of these trailers over all them little bumpy hills and whatnot with this vehicle. Uh, you just have to be careful, drive slow, and all that other good stuff. So I'll be right back. We're going to uh, start compressing it. All right, and here we go. We're going to start compressing it. You use a front-end loader to do it. Telehandlers are a little bit difficult to drive over it. I find that a front-end loader is a lot easier to do, and you just drive back and forth across it. As you can see up there in the top left corner, it's compressing very slowly, about 7 or 8% per pass, and you just keep doing that, and this is what you end up with. This is uh, pretty, pretty well pressed out, even though it only says that I'm so, you know, halfway done or so. You can keep going at this time and continue pressing it, or you could bring more trailers up and continue filling at this point, because at this point you would still be able to pull one trailer up, if you were using, you know, a vehicle that could pull a single trailer like this front-end loader, you could drag a trailer up or with a tractor or something, um, and you could keep going. All right, now we're at 100% compacted or compressed, so you hit the button and it pops the tarp over it all. Now it's a matter of just waiting. It's about 10 in-game hours for it to completely ferment, uh, which is, you know, you know, four or five percent per minute or so, or four or five minutes, if you look at the top clock up there, rather, four or five minutes uh, per percent. All right, so we've got the bucket on the front of our uh, front end loader, and I've gone up there, and you just, you know, I'll show here in a second, but you just kind of lay it down, and uh, you kind of just dump. Come on, do it again. There you go. And... Uh, you just kind of get it all the way down, and then just to where the metal touches the ground, just to where the front of it, you know, just a little bit right there. And then you can just uh, very slowly creep up to it, and if you just hit the edge of it, you'll notice that your fill bar starts to fill up down in the bottom right-hand corner. There it goes. And uh, it doesn't take much. I mean, it really fills this, this implement up very fast because it only carries, it only holds like 6,400 units, so... You just, you know, fill it up. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to dump it in. We're going to sell it. Right here is the only place, this biogas place, that's, that buys the actual silage. So as you can see there on the left hand, there's a little red display. All right, we're going to dump it into one of these two hoppers, doesn't matter which. But as I dump it off, right there, you'll see the numbers start to go up. All right, now it'll go up to 6,400 because that's how many units I did. But it slowly, incrementally uses up 15 or so units every second as you look. Now you can store a maximum, you can sell rather, a maximum of 20,000 units in there. Now here I, I looked it up, but you can sell 20,000 units, uh, so you just keep grabbing a bucket full and going back over there and selling it again, and it instantly gives you the money, as you can see, and it sells pretty well, too, uh, usually between 1,500 and 2,000, you know, on normal, and, or I mean, a, as a regular sale. There I go real slowly, just kind of pulling up to the edge of the silage and then backing up a little bit. We're full. All right, we're going to go sell again. I'll watch this one real quick uh, so that you can get the full idea of, you know, what I'm doing. But this is the only place you can sell the silage that I know of right now. None of the other, other places will take it. So here we go. 
and watch the numbers over there to the left. I'm a little over 5,000. And there they go. They keep shooting up. Uh, when it hits 20,000, it will stop taking it all together. And then you just have to wait game time in order for it to, uh, there it is. You have to just wait game time and it'll slowly eat it up. And then you can come up and you can sell some more. Now, there is more uses for the silage. The, you use it for your cow production and all that other good stuff. And I'm going to heavily get into that in the next next episode, next video. I'm going to show all of the how to do the multi-mix and all that other good stuff, just like I did in the Farm Simulator 2013 videos. And, uh, yeah, that'll be then. But that's basically silage. Now, this is the farm. I highly suggest if you're going to do cows that you bring some of this chaff up here, about four trailers, maybe five trailers full. And you dump it off here, you let it ferment here, you compact it here, you just bring your front end loader down here and drive over it and all that other good stuff. And you do the exact same process here at the farm. Now the farm is in the very south part of the map. It's just to the west of the uh, biogas plant. So it's not hard to find. Got a big old cow on it, as you can see, just a little bit northwest of it. And uh, yeah, you just dump out these trailers here. You go ahead and, and compact them and then cover them with a the tarp and let it ferment for its time because you're going to want to bring your multi-mix trailers down here to this place and leave them here because this is the only place you're going to use them. I mean, you're here at the dairy farm. And they've simplified the whole dairy farm process so much, you literally just make your mix and then you drive through that barn right there behind us and dump it out on either side. So, uh, yeah, we'll get more into that in the next episode. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you understand it. Uh, I hope I explained it well. If I didn't, please leave some comments. If you got any questions, don't worry. Just ask, and I will uh, do my best to answer them. All right, hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.